Hi, Deck Reviews here, and today I'm going to review The Emperor Playing Cards by Penguin Magic. Today I'm going to be showing you the collector's version of the set. This deck originally was a Kickstarter project by them, and now the cards are going to be available at the Penguin Magic store. It's an online shop. Anyways, there's only 500 of these uh, collector sets. And this is what the box looks like. And here we go. It says Emperor over here. It's got a snowflake over here. And then at the bottom of the box, you have a penguin doing magic. It's making cards fly around into his top hat. I think it's a very cool design because I like penguin and I love magic. So this is a cool penguin in my book. And then how the box opens, it's got a magnet here, so it can stay shut. And up here, you got the Ace of Spades and your two decks. As far as the packaging goes, this is a, uh, a styrofoam kind of material. It holds the two decks in place. In the collector set, it includes a silver gilded deck, so it has silver gilded edges, and then the regular version which I believe you could buy separately on the website as well. Anyways, you can tell the art's by Mark Stutzman because it's similar to his other card box artwork. I have a deck here for reference. So this is another deck by Mark Stutzman. He's a very talented artist. I really like his style. Yeah. It just has Mark Stutzman on it. Like when I look at the box, it's like, oh, it's Mark Stutzman. <laughs> Anyways, this is what the box looks like. They both look the same. The only difference will be the, the seal. So it doesn't say anything on the sides here. The bottom copyright stuff and uh, manufactured by expert playing cards. The only difference, and so you could like differentiate the two if you didn't want to open the silver one, is the seals. The seals are individually numbered to 500 on the silver gilded deck. On the standard one, there's no numbering on it. And then from the faces, you could sort of tell, if you have a good eye, the silver gilded one has a lighter black than the standard one. I'm going to show you guys both decks. But first, let me show you the standard one. The snowflake here. Check it out. Here's the back design. It's got super thin borders. It's gonna be really cool with the card fans. You'll see what I mean later. And then you got that same magical penguin there. You got snowflakes. The two jokers, you have two of these penguins here. The ace of spades. Exactly as I showed you from the box. And then as far as the other faces, they're standard faces. So, here we are. Which is cool. I actually like the standard faces a lot. It's hard to uh, make better faces than that. So the only custom card besides the backs, of course, is the Jokers and the Ace of Spades. Now let's check out some moves. So card fans look very nice because of the super thin borders. The stock is a lot softer than other Expert Playing Card Company cards. I own quite a few. Expert has like the super, you know, like stiff and tough stock makes doing pressure moves difficult what I like about this is it's softer so it's easier to do the pressure moves right out of the box yeah the fans just look really nice with this deck the fans and spreads it's got really soft smooth edges very smooth. And overall, a very nice finish. Nice finish that feels good to the touch. Handling these cards is a real pleasure. 
finally, this is what a giant fan looks like. Yeah, very neat. I personally prefer just the regular giant fan with these, just because of how thin the borders are. Looks very nice. So that's the standard deck. As far as the silver gilded edges that go, the main difference is there's actually a lot of differences. I'll point them out real quick. It is obviously the silver gilded edges here. It's very nice. I love shiny things, and this is very shiny. So you got the silver gilded edges. The cards are not as wide and as tall as a regular poker card. So if I take it over here, there's some wobble. See? Has something to do with the gilded um, edge process. So I think they chopped some of the card up from all four areas. That's why it's just a little bit narrower in general. So those are the main differences. Oh, yeah, because of the backs, because of the cut and the faces, the numbers are super close to the edge, which is great. I like that because it'll make the card fans look nicer. Out of the box, these cards don't really fan very well. That's to be expected with the Silver Gilded deck. But after breaking it in, these actually handle like normal cards for the most part. So, these have super thin borders, makes fans look super real, you know, super neat and tidy. Very cool. But with that said, uh, in order to make these cards handle like normal cards, you have to play with them. You don't have to worry about the silver flaking off. I was a little more aggressive with this because I wanted to like put the deck to the test to see if like silver fall off. There were some silver flakes, whatever, but... It still has this nice silver to it. So the silver is very durable. That's what I'm trying to get at. Here's what the cards look like from the edges when fanned. I don't think you can really tell much of a difference. Here's what it looks like with the Lapal spread. Here's the Lapal spread from above. Yeah, the pressure stuff, these cards look amazing. The finish, it's equivalent to the, uh, the standard deck. It feels that way, at least. Fans nicely. I'm still working these cards in because of the way they're cut. It's harder to fan from the front, from the faces. So I get clumps from the faces, but from the backs, it's fine. Now, as far as pharaohs go... I was really worried about pharaohs being like difficult or hard. These pharaoh, nicely, face is side down. So, whoop, just like that, super easy. It's got nice, uh, probably the way it's cut makes the pharaohing possible. Here's a giant fan with the cards here. See, you can really tell that the borders are super narrow. I'm really impressed by that. It sounds like a printing nightmare because if it's misaligned, like, wow, none of these cards are misaligned for me. So the quality control is very good. And that's the Silver Gilded deck. That's my deck review on the Emperor playing cards. Here's the two side by side, Silver and Standard. I think the Standard one's $10 on the website. The collector sets, uh, yeah, fifty dollars on PenguinMagic.com, and if you pledge for it on Kickstarter, it's on its way. That's what they were saying on the the updates, and they won't be shipping the sales for Penguin Magic to all the Kickstarter um, people. Have their decks. 
Anyways, I hope you like my deck review. I'm Michael, deck, the owner of Deck Review, and I hope you guys have a good day. Stay tuned for more deck reviews.